Hey you guys, it's your girl Tiana from the Line Me Elevated Road with your dear mentor in Christ. In this video, I have a message for you guys. And what the title is going to be is Your Testimony is Worth Preaching. And so this morning, um, I was like half asleep, like my eyes were closed, but I was still awake. And what the Lord was saying or showing me or allowing me to hear is these group of people that were children of God but they were complaining to the Lord they were complaining to God because he kept giving them commands and they were like God why do I have to do this why do I have to go out and do this and so what the Lord was just saying to me right there is that some of you guys are complaining uh, another word for complaining is grumbling, being annoyed, whining that God is giving you all of these commands or you feel in your spirit that you need to do something, but it's just like you don't want to do it for some reason. And so, like I said, some of you guys can be complaining about speaking up about your testimony, but the Lord gave me a vision. He gave me another vision and this is kind of funny, you know, he speaks to me and unique and wonderful ways um and he gave me the word empanada okay he gave me the word empanada and it was like on a mexican restaurant uh like sign and it was in cursive and if you think of an empan if you think of an empanada you don't see anything on the outside but when you break it open it look <laughs> it look right okay and so what the lord was saying is that Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of you guys are misjudged or some of you guys are not having, you know, you guys are not opening up. And because you're not opening up, people look at you funny. People look at you weird. People even probably think that your life is perfect, but they really don't know who you are and that's just because you haven't opened up yet you haven't given your testimony enough yet and so your words when you open your mouth when you testify your words will have so much impact and the lord said that your testimony will be driven that it will lead people into being a citizen of heaven. And so I want to emphasize the word he uh, driven because that's what the Lord spoke to me about. And when you're driven, that, that means like you're ambitious, you go forth and it will, it will leave your words or it will, your words will leave a resting upon their lives, leading them into uh, contemplation, into curiosity and amazement of the supernatural and uh, the miraculous deeds of God. And it will lead them into feeling impacted. It will lead them into being drawn by God. And people are going to be truly amazed. It's not even about like, Yes, your conversion, where you make, um, you came from certain background, you came from certain dark places, and God took you out of those things. But God will, but God was showing me like actual um, methods that He's placing upon His children, and it's like basic stuff that we could possibly do, like finances. Um, things do, dealing with like eating disorders health weight loss things like that hair growth stuff like that or building your own clothing line once you open up your mouth they don't know what's gonna come out your mouth but it's what holy spirit wants you to testify about okay and so the lord gave me a vision y'all let me tell you when God be giving me these visions, only me and Abba know what's going on, okay? And so, God gave me a vision of a Caucasian man, and he was a nice, pretty size. Like, he was he was fit, and he really emphasized the guy's legs because it had tattoos on his legs. And personally, what the Lord was speaking to me about, um, as far as, like, tattoos and piercings, that's why you don't see me with a nose piercing or a tongue piercing, any of those like that and that's just because I was idolizing those things I was worshiping those things and it came to a point where I had an unhealthy relationship in thinking that I always had to have something on my face um, to make me feel cute or pretty and so God kind of convicted me about that and that's why I'm, I'm at this moment at this season I don't have none of that praise the Lord and so 
what the Lord was saying to me is that things people idolize or even normalize your testimony. How do I, how do I put this in words? Your testimony will check them in place. Your testimony will give them the realization. They be, they be having the response like, oh, even if they're not saying it, but it, deep down in their spirit, they're like, they're like, oh, even the stubborn ones that are listening to your testimony and they're looking at you like this, they mass, they manifest in low key, but it be the ones that be hating low key, but they're actually motivated. They're actually encouraged. They're actually impacted by the powerful words that the Holy Spirit is uh, placing inside of you. And so I was asking God, like, why don't your people want to speak up and say what God did for them in their lives? And, you know, this is part of it, fear and all that insecurity. But what the Lord emphasized or placed in my spirit was embarrassment. You're embarrassed that you were you were in that position and you you're still holding on to the past. You still have shame. You still have guilt. You still think that's still you, but it's not. God delivered you. You need to know that God delivered you out of that. That is not you no more. Some of you guys are still holding on to your old self when God says that he has already renewed our, renewed our minds and that we are born again. But you're still holding on to you probably had a binge eating disorder or you probably had certain things that you've done that were considered as sins and you're still holding on to those character traits you're still holding on to those false personalities or those false identities and you still claim that it's still you but you need to know deep down that is not you at all like god literally renewed renewed your mind and took you out of the pits of sheol that took you out of wickedness in your own thinking Okay, so basically that's all. But to just sum it up, give you a whole summary of what I was talking about. Um, as of right now, God is nagging you. God is tugging in your heart about a certain thing that he wants you to do, right? And it may feel like a lot. It may feel like pressure. It may feel, <coughs> excuse me, challenging. But what the Lord said, what the Holy Spirit said to me is that there is oil that is being produced that is coming out of it. Okay, I was going to say that you're going to be producing fruit when you do the deed. But the Lord, Holy Holy Spirit interceded and he said there's going to be oil that is coming out. Meaning that after the deed is finished, you've accomplished a great deed for God's people for the lost souls it's a lingering oh it's a lingering thing that you've done it's literally going to impact them and also impact the kingdom of heaven and i just truly want to encourage you to keep going to go forth and do the plans of god it doesn't matter what the response is you know deep down it will penetrate in their hearts they may be manifesting and being stubborn and being rude to you but it will leave something in their mind they will look back and remember the words that you've said and so you see the um the anointing oil in exodus 40 verse 7 they use the holy or they used the uh, the oil in the holy tent and everything that was in it to make everything holy. So they used the oil to make everything holy. Okay, so yeah, that was it. But before we end this, let us pray. Um, dear Heavenly Father, I just pray um, that this video will be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God, that the, the person that is watching this, I thank you, Lord God, that you will lead them and to guide them into truth. I ask that you do miraculous signs and wonders upon their life. Lord, give them comfort and provide for them as they walk with unfavoring or uh, unwavering, sorry, and strong faith. You know, your light overcomes darkness. So allow your light and truth to defeat the evil one trying to work inside of them and reject them from being obedient to your words. I ask that there will be full and unexplainable strength upon your children during this time of having faith. Lead them, guide them, and reposition them into um, the plans and purpose that you have for them. 
During this time of sensitivity, give peace to the trouble-minded. Give joy to the brokenhearted, Lord, for your words are kind and sweet to the soul. Give them the realization of who you really are and what you're capable of doing. Let your will be done upon their lives. Let your will be done up on this earth as it is in heaven. For you are the one and the only limitless God that can do the impossible and the least expected in their lives. So let no man, no demonic spirit come against the plans that you have for them. Arouse, arouse, oh, dang, I can't even say that. Arouse your ongoing fire to consume all wickedness and premature uh, curses and spells from their, uh, from your children, Lord. Allow this fire to be never ending, giving encouragement and great impact to other believers and non-believers, giving them the willpower and giving them obedience to the plans and commands with great joy and honor. Whatever you may have for us and command us to do, give us the reassurance and reassurance to respond with great uh, a joyful yes i'm so sorry guys give us the passion the diligence the zeal to look for it and take action towards your commands and guidance lord in jesus my name amen so make sure you guys comment like subscribe make sure you guys go down to the description box because i will leave some scriptures some self affirmations all of my socials are down there so yes you guys have a blessed day